Randy, we good? Coach Dale, I have a couple questions for you. This is, these are going to be hard questions, but can you reflect a little on the events of the last year and a half and how the effects of the pandemic have impacted your program? Well, I, I think every coach can, I think, tell the same story about the fall. I think there was great disappointment last summer when it was announced that uh, we were not going to be able to, to play in the fall. But when the kids reported to camp, uh, I think it really was a blessing. Um, you know, we, we were not preparing for competition, so we could slow things down. We could teach our kids a little more thoroughly than maybe we could, spend more time with our freshmen. Um, and the group as a whole, it, it gave them, it was really the only thing that was kind of semi-normal about the year. Um, the spring was difficult, no doubt that um, we were not playing and most of the other PAC teams were playing. That, that was a disappointment that, quite frankly, I, I don't think that we really fully recovered from. And we just tried to get through the spring as best we could. But, um, you know, we, we are excited about the, the prospects of playing this year and getting back to a hopefully a more normal football season. This is the last question I'll ask to talk about last year a little bit, but how did your players handle having to watch most of the conference get to play games and those players get to improve last spring? And are, are your players going into this fall season with a chip on their shoulder from the, the, the 2019 season PAC title you had to not much last year? Yeah, you know what? It, from my thoughts and, and from talking, so I think I'm the only one that watched the games. I watched almost every game. I have two laptops going, my phone. I mean, I wanted to see the teams play. And I think the guys just couldn't bring themselves to watch it. You know, I, I think they just wanted it out of sight, out of mind, that, that we weren't able to play. Um, you know, the, the spring, we, we certainly had opportunities to practice uh, a couple inter-squad games and actually did compete in a half of a scrimmage against um, you know, Denison University, um, but it, but it certainly wasn't the same. You know, as far as playing the chip on their shoulder, I, you know, I, I'm going to be grateful for whatever opportunities we get to have because there's nothing is given. I think that's been taught to us, and just being very grateful for the opportunity to compete um, and, and play against what I feel is an outstanding competition in PAC. Coach, those were tough questions. Thank you for answering them. Let's talk 2021 yeah. football. The offense is returning in a good portion of its impact players, including All-American wide receiver Colt Morgan and All-PAC first-team quarterback Drew Saxton. What are your expectations for the Spartans' offense this fall? Yeah, we're very optimistic, and I think, as Rich mentioned, that we have two fifth-year offensive linemen, also Anthony being, being one of them. I think that's where it starts, and you know, having Drew with such experience starting since his freshman year um, and really taking over the leadership reins. Um, I mean, every coach wants a quarterback like that. He's not only really talented, but, you know, has great leadership and great experience. And Colt has been a force, you know, over the, you know, the 18, 19 season in a, in a league that has three, I, I feel, of the top receivers in the country. Um, Colt is, is going to do his thing and, and I think is poised to have his best year ever. So, and a couple of newcomers, a couple of transfers actually from Duquesne that are gonna give us a little bit different look at one's a receiver, one's a running back. So very optimistic about the potential there. And defensively, we're going to be an almost brand new. Um, <laughs> That's my next question, so yeah. we'll carry right okay, in. Okay, I'll there. roll right in. <laughs> um, you know, everyone's gone. Uh, coming off of 2019, when we had a majority of our team back, uh, all those kids are gone. Um, had a great recruiting class that are now sophomores uh, this coming year that we've really liked, but just haven't seen against outside competition. So, you know, the inexperience is going to be made up for a very experienced defensive staff. You know, our defensive staff's been together. Uh, you know, the two full-time guys, uh, Coach Miller and Coach Lolly, have been together for nine years uh, and worked together at Walsh before that. So uh, they're going to have to take the reins leadership-wise um, until somebody steps up. and. Um, you know, I think we have some players, uh, but it, it might be it might be a little bit of a learning curve in the beginning of the season. You mentioned a few of those players who are on your roster who haven't appeared in a collegiate game yet. 
Can you talk about some of those players? What are some of those players who might, who you see having an impact on the field this season? Yeah, on offense, we have two freshmen line, well, now again, sophomore, that they, they would have started for us in 2020 as freshmen. And that's coming off of a playoff year. We had a majority of our offense back. So really good players that we're really excited to see against outside competition. Um, and then uh, Antonio uh, Orsini, who's the brother of Giuseppe Orsini, who's mm -hmm. a receiver for us, uh, is a running back from Duquesne and Upper St. Clair, an awesome football player. Uh, and Aiden Kane, uh, that again is another Western PA product, transferred from Duquesne and caught 101 passes his senior year of high school uh, that hasn't played it down for us yet. So on offense, that, those are the people. Um, on defense, you know, again, it's everyone. Uh, so it's, it's hard to pick out one. Uh, our defensive line, uh, the sophomore group, really excited about. It's very well decorated in high school. Speed at corner. Most years, in our time and case, we, we basically had one corner and we had to teach somebody to play the other corner. And this year we feel we have four or five guys in legitimate corners. So I think it'll give, again, our defensive staff maybe some weapons that they haven't had in the past um, that they can scheme and you know, find out, just trying to find our best 11 to get out there. Coach, thanks. Anthony, shoot a few questions at you. Sure. After not playing during the 2020-21 or 2020-21 academic year, what do you think is the general mood of your team as it gets ready to play for the first time in over a year? Um, I would say we're pretty pissed. Um, I think we really want to um, come and compete in the fall. I know I've been training all this summer. I know all the guys that I know are, and we're, we're ready to compete um, in a legitimate 10-game um, schedule. Can you talk about your decision to use your extra year of eligibility, and what kind of factors went into your decision to return to the Case Western Reserve program in 2021? I know, I think it was tough as a senior um, knowing that your, you know, your fall, is, your fall schedule is canceled in 2020 and I was super down about it and I was like, well, I guess I'll, you know, I guess I'll start looking for a job, you know. Um, and then the second I got to campus, I kind of realized, nice. <laughs> um, I kind of realized, you know, there's unfinished business here, and that I think I have more left in the tank. So, you know, I think I immediately told um, the coaches that I, I knew I was coming back, and I think academically there was also a great fit with, um, so I'm going to be a, getting my master's in finance, and I think just the Weather and School of Management was a great fit for me as well. As one of the veteran members of the offensive line, how do you go about helping some of the newer starters that Coach mentioned some of the newer starters that are around, how do you help them get ready to play this ball? It's tough because um, probably the, the bulk of my career, I was always like the young spitfire offensive lineman who always questioned the older guys. Um, but now you kind of have to transition to the world where you're mentoring like the guys who are gonna take this program while you're gone. Um, so I think for me, it's like the little things. Um, my coach, Coach uh, Derek Slesh is a great offensive line coach and he can teach the schemes and the, and the technical stuff. Um, but I think I do a good job with like the, the intangible. So just leading by example, by like playing to the whistle and just being physical and tough. I think that that's something that like the younger guys can pick up on and um, I think I do a good job with, so. Anthony, the last question I have for you. Uh, I talked with Coach a few minutes ago about expectations offensively. I wanna hear from you. What are your, what are you, what's your outlook for the Case Western Reserve offense this fall? I would say very high. I mean, um, we didn't have a lot of playing time in the spring, but when we played Denison, I think offensively we did a good job. We ran the ball really effectively, um, and that was down um, starting offensive linemen. So I think once we get back up to full strength and, and go through camp, I think at least from an offensive line perspective, um, we should be great at running the ball, good at pass pro. Um, and then I think those new guys that are coming, I'm, I'm very excited about it. Um, worked with Aiden Kane and um, virtually through a class, and he's a, he's a great guy. So 
I'm excited for the new guys and, um, and the old guys as well. Good job, Anthony. Thank you. Thank you. Case Western Reserve will get its season underway Saturday, September 4th at the University of Rochester.